So I have this Modena paste that I used in a uh, donut video and this is from China. I ordered it through AliExpress and it was quite expensive but I think it's a fun product because it's an air dry paste and you can color it with uh, paint or stuff like that. So I'm going to make a few trials here with this um, medium just to see what it can and what it can't. So let me take a tiny bit of it out and put on a glass plate. I placed this lid back again and I'm making sure that it is really, really um, pushed down so that it pushes out as much air as possible to make sure it is going to last as long as possible. I am dividing this little dot here in four and first I am using my Vallejo paint, a white and a green, mixing that together with this paste here. First the white, then the green. Then I am going to put green soft pastel in this one and mix that really good. And I am going to place some white uh, soft pastel in the other one here. And I'm going to mix these two really, really good together. There we go. I have this mold for making chocolates. And first I am going to put in some of this um, Modena paste with the white paint in there. Then the green paint. Just filling them up so I know that it is fully filled and flat at the top of this uh, mold and again with the one with the white soft pastel and the one with the green soft pastel making sure i squeeze it really really good into the molds here Then I have this gummy frog mold and I'm first filling it with the Modena paste with the green paint in there. Not filling it totally up because these green frogs has this white bottom layer. So first the green one and then I'm filling the rest of this little mold with the white on top of the green. So to see if they will connect even though that there are paint in there and how that will look if you can do it like this. And then again, I am using the green soft pastel ones and then popping the white soft pastel on top of that and making sure it is all flush to the mold. And I fill the last one here with the white um, soft pastel. I should have used the translucent one so you can see how that turned out, but I forgot that. Then I am just taking the rest of these colors and I'm just uh, kind of smoothing them out really, really thin so we can see how that looks on uh, this little glass plate. I'm sorry, I'm a bit off camera here. Um, I am going to take two toothpicks and I'm going to mix the green here around both of the toothpicks and then put them together. I am going to leave this out on the table for 24 hours and see what's happening. So this have been standing for a whole day, um, uh, 24 hours, and um, I'm just going to take one out. This was with the paint, and it is all dry, but it's not holding the shape that well. It is all dry, but I have a tiny few uh, air pockets in there and it has been hollowed out. So this one was with the paint. Then we have another one with paint, the same problem. It's hollowed or have small holes in there. This one is with a uh, soft pastel. Uh, it gave it a tiny bit color. It's not really good. The green soft pastel, that actually turned out really nice. I like that green color here. 
as I took the last one out here I thought that was with the Modena paste without anything in but looking in my footage from the start this is with the white soft pastel in there so that's why these two are the same color to start with so white paint green paint uh, white soft pastel green soft pastel and the last one was also with white soft pastel but there is a lot of air bubbles let's try these candies here but it is working in the mold it's just all over here so that's a little gummy frock with white and green it's actually working out pretty okay but there will be some cleanup again with white and green that's a paint then we have the ones with the um, soft pastel in there. I actually like the green a tad bit better on the soft pastel. And then you have all this residues here on the mold, but you can easily peel that off, it looks like. So it's not sticking to the mold, so that's a good part. That's a really good thing that it's not sticking to the mold. So it's easy to clean it up again. So here I and it's sticking to my glass plate. I place two uh, pieces of wood sticks together here. Actually, it's two sticks. And it's um, because I wrapped it all the way around both of them, it's actually holding up pretty good. Ah. Yeah, it is really on there. Really, really on there. You can't tear it apart but you really need to use a lot of force to tear it apart then we have this is the one without anything in there and you can see it's very 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 stretchy and it rips and I don't need as much force here to rip it as I had to with these two sticks here so that's kind of weird and you can see it turns into kind of a really really thin thing and it's matte on the top side and it's uh, shiny because of the glass plate on the bottom but it's uh, it's not that strong it rips fairly easy but I think we can use it for something funny so here we have it with the white paint in it And it's just uh, rips just as easy as without the paint in there. So that's not changing anything in the mixture. It still rips. And I think it's ripping just the same. Here we have it with the white uh, soft pastel. It feels a bit stronger than the one with the paint in. Weirdly enough. Then we have the green soft pastel. Again, it's a bit more stretchy than the one with the paint in. I'm gonna try this one out again. Yeah, it might be a little more stretchy when you don't have paint in there. Yeah, the paint makes it uh, rip a lot easier. So you can use it in molds, just uh, uh, drying out a uh, kind of hollowing out so it's kind of shrinking when it dries that's good to know so that is all there is for this video I made a few different tests on this Modena paste if you have more tests you want me to make then please let me know I'm not sure that the Modena paste can keep two um, polymer clay things together to bake the things together i'm not sure that's possible anyway that was all for the video today i hope you enjoyed it even though that it was a small test we made right here so thank you for watching and i will see you wednesday happy crafting